Les Miles after four years at Oklahoma State. Takes over for Nick Saban, who was very successful at LSU, including a national championship in 2003. A lot of pressure on Miles as he inherits an excellent team. LSU won the toss, and the birds. He's a junior from Danville, California, a backup in recent years to Andrew Walter. Keller, 2-0 as the starter. Started their bowl game last year, the Sun Bowl against Purdue, and led them to a dramatic victory and an engineered the easy win against Temple this season. He's going into traffic, and it is caught by the tight end, Zach Miller. The Arizona State offense, Burgess is really a wide receiver playing tailback. They use Burgraff as an H-back, and excellent receivers. And it's a veteran offensive line as well, anchored in the middle by Grayling Love, who was an all Pac-10 tackle last year. He's moved back to his more natural position. Thomas Ritter, the Hard referee. Snap. Full start, 62. Offense, five-yard penalty. He leads for soon. He likely wouldn't be able to survive a performance like that tonight. Keller to throw on first and long, and it is completed. The LSU front four, arguably the best in the country. Bo Pelini, their defensive coordinator, thinks the tackles are the best duo in the country. Cameron Vaughn moves from outside linebacker to middle linebacker this year. Padoni, a converted offensive player. Brand new corners in Prude and Jackson, the veteran safeties, Daniel and Landry. Landry's been their leading tackler each of the last two years. On second down, one off short for Rudy Burgess. And he's out to the 46. The Arizona State team that in the last three years hasn't averaged more than 118 yards rushing per game for a season. They make their hay, as Coach Cutter says, in the passing game. And there's a terrific tackle. Chris McDonald, the punter, he's a good punter, but they had lots of problems in punt coverage last year. And they don't have to cover that one. It goes out of bounds at the three-yard line. That was up in the air until at least yesterday. formation that's been the history of coach miles might be one wrinkle he'll bring to lsu the lsu offense the backs and receivers they're without their leading rusher from a year ago ali broussard up the year with a knee injury but they think a die is special and the offensive line led by andrew whitworth at tackle making his 40th consecutive start and a brilliant literally so nice longer at center already graduated from LSU with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Out to the far side, caught by Skyler Green. And the Arizona State defense, the big question is up front. They have two starters who are out tonight. So Colfe and Talbot have moved in to join Hill and Garley. Dale Robinson is their leading playmaker. Jamar Williams, the quarterback of the defense. James is his starter. And in the secondary, Golden and Walter White. London and Cat Meese. Third down and three for LSU. Receiver open and the ball drop. Early set. Baseball team hit 305 last season. It's a fake. How about this start to his coaching career at LSU for Les Miles? Jackson completes a pass for a first down. His team backed up deep in its own territory. First series of the season. After more than five weeks of practice, there's Joseph Adai bottled up. Dale Robinson. Look at these guys last year. Had a lot of respect for LSU. Two tight ends in the ball game now, and Russell throws, and it is caught by Craig Davis, and then drop. Correct formation, a lot of time for Russell. He zings one. That was inaccurate off the hands of Davis. But apparently, Jackson's the designated big guy at the very least. Fisher boots it away. Terry Richardson, a tough catch on the run. And then he's out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Third season in a row that LSU is taking on a team from the Pac-10. On first down, Rudy Burgess. A hard-earned three-yard. An interesting philosophical debate about who has the advantage with one team, Arizona State, having played a game, the other not having played a game. Burgess again. Bo Pelini was next to Coach Miles there, the new defensive coordinator. He was at Oklahoma last year, Nebraska the year before that. Keller buried and then flipped 
gets it toward the line of scrimmage. And an incomplete pass. The referee Thomas Rivers pointing at Keller as if to indicate he was sacked. But they did give him credit for throwing the ball away. And here's another one that could be down. Did they wait too long to down it? They started a signal touchback and then marked it inches from the goal line. He was intentionally trying to draw them offside. Why not take the delay of game penalty? Delay game on the offense. Half the distance to the goal. Still first move. Now a very tight formation. And they rely on the 6-5-2-48 Russell. Barry Bonds, the former Arizona State Sun Devil, returning to action for the Giants. Tyrone Carey, the ball carry, and he got belted. Just five seconds to get the playoff. One second as Russell takes the snap in the end zone and zings one for a first down to Craig Davis. Russell started four games, played in 11, brought them from two touchdowns down in the Capital One Bowl, and the one that won the national championship. Second and two after the eight-yard game. It's Perry. Limited to six games last year due to injury. Uh, get some uh, relax a little bit. The game will come to him. Here's Perry again. And second and four. And the pitch to Perry. Originally signed with Tennessee out of high school, but never did play for the ball. All right, Reese, thank you very much. They hand it off to Skyler Green. There's a flag down. He got the first down on third and short of extends. Illegal shift. You, you find out about your team under pressure. Now third and seven. Russell tied again. A nice catch by Craig Davis. Three catches tonight. Here's Tyrone Carey. Tenth play of the drive. It started. Right on the goal line. Perry getting a workout. He might be diminutive, but he showed some power there as a quad contusion. He was one of 24 preseason candidates for the Ted Hendricks Award as the best defensive end in the country. Play action pass, and the ball is caught by Craig Davis, his fourth catch. Back in Tempe, Arizona, reason to cheer for the LSU cheerleaders. An impressive drive. This is the 15th play of this march. They've had the ball for more than eight minutes. Flags down. Looked like Arizona State might have been offside. Three receivers to the right. Justin Vincent, nice cutback. He was supplanted last year, but there is no score. They're at the nine-yard line. Second and a long two. Vincent. A hit by Robinson. He has been the standout. Third down and two. Vincent following the fullback scouts. Looks like they're going to mark him down just short. We've seen that on the faces of the players and coaches, and we can see that in the crowd there, too. Fourth and inches. And looks like the far official is going to spot it as a first down. First and goal from the sixth for LSU. Drive started at their own one. Russell had the ball slip out. As Mike Talbot was pressuring him. And after all that, the Tigers turn it over. Jordan Hill recovered the fumble. Unfortunately, weren't going to be made available for fans in the Second and ten. Keller going for the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown by Jamal Lewis. of Temple. Chad Christensen, the holder, and that one is right through the middle. So LSU had everything going its way. Plus, by the way, nearly sell out a 74,000 seat stadium. They've done an amazing job and eternally great for the Michael Crow uh, to support students who are coming to uh, our university. And uh, Sean, let's go back to you. Thank you. LSU penalized. We will not charge LSU with the timeout. When you weigh it against everything that said you should not play a football game there right now, they did the right thing. Joseph a guy.
turns the corner. And it looks like he has a first down. First and ten from the 30-yard line. And Russell ran into trouble in the name of Mike Talbot. Well, this, he'd never been on the sideline until last week's game against Temple. He kept bumping into the officials and then apologizing for being in the way. Now, well, used to being on the sideline, the coach Cutter said he wants his coordinator to eyeball to eyeball with their players. Cutter himself is the offensive coordinator. And here is Skyler Green with a long run after the catch all the way to the 31-yard line on the play for Les Miles. And the offense of LSU, but there was an illegal block. Ball back at the 26-yard line, second down and 14. All day to throw for Jamarcus Russell, another receiver wide open. Xavier Carter. <laughs> a lot of time to throw again. He's digging deep again. He has a man again, and Carter dropped it. Xavier Carter was wide open so far. Mention is playing without Kyle Caldwell. They're also playing about Dwayne Hollyfield in that defensive line. He would have been a starter. He's out for academic reasons. If they believe they can win here. Well, Hagan has said he believes they can have an undefeated season. They have USC on their schedule as well. That game will be here at Sun Devil Stadium. Dumped off short for a die, and he spun down immediately by Dale Robinson. Midway through the second quarter, 7-0 Arizona State. LSU on the move again. A guy bouncing outside. First down, down to the 30-yard line. They offered the job to the Cowboys to Dirk Cutter, and he accepted it for about 24 hours. But then when ASU came along, he backed out and came here to Tempe instead. Barry reversing his field, looking for a block from the quarterback, and he got it. Wild game reminiscent of the Texas win over Michigan in the Rose Bowl. They've been back and forth all afternoon and evening. They decided on the last second field goal. Russell threw it away. Third down and nine at the 29-yard line of Arizona State. The Devils bring a blitz. Russell rolls away from it. Has a man, and it is caught at the one-yard line. Caught by Benny Brazil. Lost contained, and Russell able to get outside. First and goal from inside the one. There's a guy. Touchdown, LSU. And back on the campus in Baton Rouge, they celebrate the first score of the season. Here. And that one didn't have much room inside the right upright. Heard him to Sean Cody and Patterson last year for USC. It's pretty high cotton. Jesse Ainsworth. Trying a 26-yard field goal from the right hash mark. His first field goal attempt of the year is right down the middle. And Arizona State has the lead with 3.58 to go in the first half. Those students were lined up all week waiting for tickets, and just about every seat is filled. Nearly 71,000. And we knocked that through the uprights. Maurice, thank you. Fun to watch Andre Agassi play the home of the crowd favorite in New York. We didn't have to learn a whole new set. Russell swings one out for Skyler Green, first down up to the 34. He had respect against playing against him. Three wide receivers on first and ten, under three minutes to go in the half, and Russell is sacked for the second time tonight. Block running down here, two minutes left. Second and 19, flag thrown in the secondary. Moving, you believe it was delay a game. Hard to the snap. The late game, number four on the offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Marcus Russell had 23 friends and relatives at one point staying in his apartment. Two o'clock in the morning, he was running to get medicine for Fats Domino, who made faith in his defense to stop at third and 19. So Marcus Russell 
with all day to throw. And maybe that's why, although the ball came out at the very end. Now the coach cutter might wish he had that, but they didn't call a timeout with third and 19 upcoming. Very high kick. And big mistake. Yeah, that's a big mistake indeed. Inability to field the punt cost them some yardage. Not using the timeout. Very interesting first half for Les Miles as head coach at LSU. Only one turnover in the half. It was a costly fumble at the end of a long drive by Jamarcus Russell. Ainsworth just continues to kick off. The Tigers trail 10 to 7. Russell under center 10 for 16 in the first half for 125 yards. Goes to the dive. But, all right, Dave, thank you. Here's a dive. First down and much more running through tackles all the way out to the 42 yard line. After the 19-yard pickup, first and 10. A guy in trouble got away from Jordan Hill in the backfield, Mike Talbot. Mary, the wife Megan, they're expecting a daughter born on Thanksgiving Day. That's the due date. There's another drop pass. Third and 12. They show blitz. They bring a blitz. And they get him. Back at the 29-yard line, Robert James credited with the sack. The putt. He brought one back 45 yards last week against Temple. Booming kick by Fisher. Richardson had to go all the way back to his 11-yard line. Fifth penalty against the Sun Devils. First and 15. Burgess. Outside. Lunging for the pylon. Touchdown! We're going to review it to see if, in fact, he did get it in the end zone before. It's not going to happen, right? No, I don't think so. First and goal at the one. And they give it to Burgess, trying to bounce outside. And he can't get out there. Well, Ron Landry there. And Lauren Wade would have been their starting tailback, but he is in jail right now, facing first-degree murder charges. Here's Burgess again. Third and goal now. They've gone from the one back to the four, and there's movement again. And third and goal from the nine, a very deep drop. They're setting up a screen. Burgess, touchdown! Great call by Cutter, beautifully executed, and they do get the touchdown after all. For the extra point, make it a 10-point game. Up and good, Kyle Williams almost blocked that. He had football primetime presented by Polaroid. Arizona State with the largest lead of the night. 17-7 as Jesse Ainsworth gets ready to kick off. That's one way to neutralize a great return man like Skyler Green from the 20-yard line. Jamarcus Russell, 10 out of 17, passing for 125 yards. Gives it to Joseph Adai with lots of running room. Across the 40 and a late flag thrown is ordered out. Right now that we are doing what we can to help them. After the penalty, the ball back at the 32. It is a first down, and there's an incomplete pass. Particularly as it pertains to this game, and we'll tell you about some of the local efforts after this play. Second and ten. The guy again chased out of bounds. The Fiesta Bowl stepped in and paid for all of LSU's travel expenses, so there wouldn't be any cost associated with that. That money is taken to go right to the relief fund. And so many others in this Valley of the Sun will cover themselves in glory. A die fumbles, and Josh Golden has it back for Arizona State. Dale Robinson shot. 
Keller, 15 out of 22 passing tonight. Hands it off to the freshman, Keegan Herring. Reverses his field and now has blockers. Keegan Herring all the way inside the 30-yard line to the 28. Late in the third quarter, this guy's got quick feet. Fresh champion in high school over here in Arizona in 100 meters. Here's Hagen avoiding tacklers. He goes down with his fourth catch of the night, but it seems that some of that has faded. The yeah, performance so many has gone lapses. downhill, too. Keegan Herring, he was stripped of the football. And LSU has it back. So the true freshman, after the brilliant run a moment ago, turns it back over. Third time tonight they've started inside their own 10. Harry's thank you. And Stephen Indians making my fight in my God Pete smile. Here's Chiron Carey. Weaving his way out to the 27. And the ball for more than 20 minutes in the first half at just the seven points. Carey belted down. Second and seven. Robinson blitzed on that play and early do set. Blitz dialed up by Bill Miller, and the pass lofted incomplete. For a while at Arizona State, Bill said, I like my defense, but we'll see what happens when they play this LSU bunch tomorrow, and they get hit in the snot box a couple times. I actually cleared that with our... 2.40 to go, third quarter, Arizona State with the ball and a 10-point lead. Some doubles from their own 20, and Rudy Burgess stopped for a loss. <laughs> Great win for the Longhorns. Team that had a lot of advanced billing and hype and lived up to it. They've had some key mistakes. They've proven to be most costly. Five catches tonight for Richardson. There's his sixth. He gets swung down at the 29-yard line by Cameron Vaughn. Personal foul. Face mask, number 46. Defense, 15-yard penalty. But as well, they've been penalized for 80 yards now. Keller with a lot of time, running out of time, and got hit as he threw it away. Mac helped him in uh, the last game he played in was a holiday bowl, Washington State, and uh, Texas. And the West Coast offense guys use that because they get an extra step and they get out of there quicker. Keller dumps it off. Another screen for Rudy Burgess. He has the first down. And he's out of bounds. And really, they're going to throw the football. They set up another reverse. Second time they've run this play. And it's Richardson who takes the handoff. That appears to be. This will likely be the last play of the quarter. Burgess dropped for a loss. Burgess scored the only points. The only touchdown of that third quarter. LSU struck by Polaroid. We go to the fourth quarter. Arizona State with a 10-point lead and a big third down and two at the LSU 30. And the pass incomplete. Looking for Rudy Burgess again. Look at the All-State kick chart, the career numbers for Ainsworth. Good from in close, not very good from beyond 40, although we've seen tonight he certainly has a strong enough leg. This is a 47-yard try. And it is deflected at the line of scrimmage. This is going to be a touchdown for Mario Stevenson. What a turn of events. They block the field goal, and Stevenson is off to the races. The senior from Memphis, Tennessee, has LSU right back in the ballgame to get them within three points. And it is good. Roten with the blocked field goal. And then Stevenson plucked it out of midair. And there was no chance to catch him. Mario missed most of last year. We get plenty of that one as well. They can't wait for these Tigers to come home. Thank you, Aaron, and first down the pass incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the corner routes here. Pass 
caught by Richardson. First down. Good throw by Keller. Thank you, Dave. Keller steps up into the pocket. And it is incomplete. Jamal Lewis was open and got a pretty good cushion on Hagen over here. And it's an inside hand off to Burgess. Across the 40 to the 41. On third down, Keller's pass incomplete. Looking for Derek Hagan. As we mentioned, Arizona State, one of the worst punt teams. They're going to block the punt. McDonald didn't get it off, and Stelch runs it back for a touchdown. They block a field goal for a touchdown, now a punt for a touchdown. And LSU has the lead. And you... The first lead of the night for LSU. And you can see after the blocked field goal for the touchdown, Mike, the demeanor change on both sidelines. Renewed enthusiasm on the LSU side. It was Hester who got to McDonald, the putter. Last year, 114th in punt coverage. At that time, they couldn't block for the putter. By using that shield protection. Is... On the kicking team, the receiving team chooses to put the five-yard penalty after the touchback and put the ball at the 25-yard line. First out. But he did not get the football. And that was just enough. That was by design. Enough. They did that in practice this week. They had the punter. Punter. He was there and McDonald still had the ball in his hands. Keller on second down, has his man Burgraff, the H-back. Keller's pass complete to Nelson. Keller on first and ten, has another man open and another first down to the 42-yard line. And the ESPN, they cheat and tell the announcers. Yeah, I don't know. Our group doesn't tell us, even though we're trying to cheat. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Matt Miller, the cat, time to try to find him. Second down, that was almost heavy. Get a workout in while you're gaining some knowledge. On third down, a lot of time for Keller. That's batted down. Oh, going for it at the LSU 37-yard line. Fourth and six. Sam Keller throws in a traffic. Caught for a first down. They're at the 26-yard line. Keller, 24 out of 38, 307 yards passing now. Throwing toward the end zone, caught, touchdown! Second of the night for Jamal Lewis! The regularity, his extra point is good. And give Arizona State credit with the momentum seriously against them. They rally back. An impressive drive engineered by Keller. Finished by Lewis. Just completely out of the stadium. And the 21st and 10. Justin Vincent with all kinds of running room around the left side. Finally banged out of bounds. A toughest game now. The offense hasn't done much. They've had two special team scores. Russell sacked back at the 32. Down for the fourth time tonight. Second and 16. Inside handoff to Justin Vincent. <laughs> Blitz again. Russell rolled away from the blitz and found Skyler Green for a first down. After a 13-yard gain, they hand it off to Skyler Green. One man to beat. One man slowed him down just long enough for Robert James to run him down. Vincent tackled. Second and goal from the five. 
Eight and a half to go. Arizona State leads by three. The toss out to a die. Touchdown! Wes Miles wondering what the score is. Trying to make the decision whether to go for one or two. Maybe it's just 3 one to go 80 yards in seven plays. Colt David, the extra point. Five-yard touchdown run. Coach Miles excited. Understandably so. Back and forth we go with 10 feet. The run game. Chris Jackson kicks off. Scoring position for the go-ahead touchdown. Keller under duress. Caught for a short game. Under eight minutes to go. Keller has a man wide open. It's Richardson for a first down. Knocked out by Mario Stevenson. In the exciting quarter, Davis was a big factor early. Before he got his bell run. Davis. Or rather, Keller, excuse me, throws through the hands of Hagen. Keller, of course, led them to the dramatic victory in the Sun Bowl last year against Purdue. He finds Derek Hagen there for another first down. For Hagen, who was not highly recruited out of Palmdale, California. He was looking at going to UNLV before the ASU staff recruited him late. There's a nice catch by Matt Miller. It's a tough time for their best receiver in school history to go out of the ball game. Six and a half to go. ASU is down by four. Burgess tried valiantly to turn that into a game, but it's a loss of the yard. Kentucky. And it looked like his Kentucky team is better watching that game against Louisville on the ESPN family. On Thanksgiving Day. 372 yards passing for Keller. The defender slipped. There is a flag down. Hagen the catch. You wonder if Hagen helped him. Holding on the defense number 30. That penalty is declined. He's clearly guilty of holding. Hagen did give him a little swat away. To the end zone in traffic and incomplete. Looking for Jamal Lewis to play the drive. Second and 10. From the 17-yard line, Keller sets up a screen to Burgess. They missed him behind the line, and he's close to a first down. That controls the defensive front. We're high in passing yardage for Keller on third and short. They say Burgess is an inside runner. Very exciting day in college football, including this game. First and goal. Time for a bouncer into the end zone. The special teams, the big reason why they're behind right now. Two block picks, one back for touchdown. One field goal, one punt. Keller for the lead. Touchdown! Murray Mutz puts Arizona State back on top. And lead. Seven remaining. And it really helped. Dirk Cutter said we've never had a quarterback come in as a freshman who wasn't totally lost in our system, except for Sam Kelly. He was comfortable almost from day one. Good coverage on special teams. He's been involved in the relief efforts in his native New Orleans. From the nine. A toss to a die and a tough run. Arizona State players, we talked to so sincere talking about how heartbroken they were for the folks of Louisiana and what they're going through, but still their task tonight to go out here and beat LSU. Who has a different headset from the rest of the staff? Russell not called upon to throw much lately, but he zipped that one to early do set. Now used to score the winning touchdown. Shocking end of Nick Saban's tenure at LSU as a defensive wizard. In that situation, they give a touchdown and a long pass and up. Right here. Russell looking short for Doucette, cutting across the middle. He gets spun out of the 40. On third and two, perhaps 
four down territory with only two timeouts left. Russell with all day to throw, has a first down, Joseph Adai. For the 40-yard line, the pass, they've used different field goal kickers depending on the distance. Russell throwing off his back foot, and it is incomplete. Russell, running out of time, throws it away. Three wide receivers, two to the right and one to the left. Sun Devils with pressure, and the throw is high. The crowd roaring, trying to help this Sun Devil defense. Russell, they did not blitz him. He throws toward the end zone. It is good! Touchdown! Early Doucette, who couldn't catch a pass early in the game. Makes a huge catch late to give them the lead. Marcus Russell rolled to the right. No pressure. Was able to come back and find early Doucette, who crossed the field. Oh, well, that was very close, Mike, to not being a catch. Looked like the ball was twisting around and slid out when he hit the ground. Marcus Russell with the touchdown pass to Doucette. Wow. But when you try to run that one out. LSU is a very solid football team, Arizona State. Keller down the middle. The president caught. Caught by Mutz. Arizona State has all three timeouts left. They have to score a touchdown. 52 yards away from that. Down the seam again. And a catch in traffic again. It's ruled a catch for Jamal Lewis. And they can't cover. 25-yard gain. Keller. Good as he throws. And it's LSU 28. Down by four, the Sun Devils. Keller throws over the head of his intended receiver, Derek Hagan. Vaughn put a little pressure on Sam Keller. On third and ten, Keller throwing for Hagan. Incomplete. Double coverage there. One stop away from a dramatic victory. And it sees an opener. Keller throws behind the receiver. Richardson incomplete. And the Tigers take over on downs. John, this, this was a gutty win because you have to go on the road and play a very good Arizona State football team. Competition all through camp, particularly with Matt Flynn. You're buying for a position like he was. It helps you in this battle. But with an eye toward this football season and the many great things they could accomplish, this is a huge win. They have to come out here and beat a very good football team to do it the way they did. It could be a springboard to a great season. Their cutter offers his congratulations to Les Miles.